Hello everyone. So we've been talking a little bit about glues for the last few weeks and many of you have asked me what are my favorite glues, um, what type of glue to use when you're crafting. I did share what's on my craft cart and I can tag that up above for you guys so you can see um, how I organize all of my supplies on my craft cart but I didn't get into too much too much detail about each and and, and every little item on there. I did share everything that I had on it, but um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to compare glues and what type of glue I use for certain things and for um, t different types of crafts. So you probably, if you've been following my channel, you will see that I often um, use E6000 glue for a lot of my bigger projects. And this is like one of the strongest bond I guess like strength adhesive, um, it's industrial strength and um, it takes about 24 hours for it to cure. This one here is the actual E6000 brand from Michaels. You can pick this up at a Home Depot, at a Rona. However, it, it comes in an aluminum container. It doesn't have, now I do, um, a few of you have since I've received this one, which I think is a dupe. <laughs> It will definitely be a dupe um, have said that I can purchase the but see how difficult this becomes once I use it It just kind of gets stuck But um, a few have said that I can purchase the needle tip to insert in there which kind of is like this piece here and This came from banggood.com and I will link it in the description below in case you guys want to um, To try it out. I was really happy with it. It uh, now the only thing is I've only worked with the gems and I can link that card up above on where I used it but it's helped nicely to the cement block. It's one of these love signs and I just glued some gems to the top and it, they haven't budged so I've been happy with that and I might even transition to this if it's as strong. Um, Emmy asked me to test it on glass so that's the next thing I will do but I must say because it comes in a plastic tube and it comes with the needle, I'm more inclined for this for the type of projects that I use probably. I, I'm not building, you know, really, um, I don't know, like shelving and stuff that I need a really great support system for it. It's more just arts and crafts. So I think I'm gonna end up using this. This one I've had, this is already, you know, I go through them quite quickly, but once I start playing with this stuff, and you know squeezing it out the aluminum starts to crack as you can see I have duct tape here to kind of seal in the glue so it doesn't dry out on me and also it doesn't come squeezing out of the sides you'll see here that it dries all yucky around the base top this never closes probably I've even pried it with my teeth open which is terrible it's not a pleasant thing to do so e6000 the original, they really do have to step up their game in providing us with a better quality product um, on the outside. The inside is a wonderful adhesive, but just on the outer, I must say that it isn't well done. And of course, if they don't hear our feedback, I guess they would never know, right? So that's it. these are the two main glues for really heavy duty type projects of arts and crafts. Like if you're doing a frame or something that you're adhering together, that's a really good glue. I'm going to talk a little bit about this one here because it kind of falls in that same line of E6000. This is Bead Fix and it's an epoxy. It's made by, I guess, Beadalon. I'm not sure the company name. And I make dream catchers. Sorry, this one here is in a container. I make dream catchers um, occasionally. And once I feed through the this string here, I don't want my beads to fall off. I don't want them to like for the little knots to come undone. Otherwise, I'm going to lose all the work that I've put into it. So what I will do is I will take a little bit of this bead fix and I'll dab it right at the bottom. And what happens is this string hardens and doesn't come on, it doesn't unravel. And so this is one of my favorite glues for beading and doing any of the work that, now it doesn't come with a fine tip on this one either. You just have to squeeze it out. It's almost like 
a crazy glue E6000 combination, but it's very good for if you're doing any type of jewelry work or, or bead work and need to um, seal strings. So the thing is, it does take again like, I'd say about 12 hours to cure, kind of like your E6000, 12 to 24 hours until you can kind of touch it again. But in the meantime, it does take some time to dry. So it's nice and hard and stiff. It's not going anywhere and my strings are all nice and tight. So I'm just gonna put this away, but I wanted to show with you what I use that for. So that's that glue there. Sometimes I've created, um, I made a beautiful shadow box. I actually still have it. I love it. It's got, um, I'm gonna go grab it. I thought I used um, wood glue for this. I thought I did use the Gorilla Glue, but I'm actually realizing I didn't. So anyways, I'll just show you quickly. So I used some, I'll link the card up above as well. This was done when I first started the channel, so don't mind my introductions. But uh, here are some of the popsicle sticks that I cut up and created like a shadow box. And then I actually pulled the frame out and kind of popped it out to make it um, into a shadow box, of course, for storage of the little shells. These were actually picked um, at Captiva Island, so they're kind of special to us because they were handpicked by us. But, oh, um, how does this work? So yeah, I hot glued it all together, actually. I didn't use any of the wood glue, but I'm going to show you I know that I've used wood glue, to, glue in other projects. So basically the nice opening here, actually, sorry, you just pop it open. And this glue has a really nice applicator that has like a flat nose or a flat tip. And it just squeezes out and then you can kind of, you know, apply your glue really nicely. And then when you're finished with it, you want to make sure you close it down. Oh, see, my little handy wet naps are always on my cart for stuff like this. Because you don't want that sealing tight and then it's all yucky. So this adheres wood to wood, right? So now let's say I wanted these two popsicle sticks. I mean, this is not anything... I'm not creating anything here at all. I'm just giving you an example of what the glue does. So now you would leave this for 24 hours and then tomorrow it would be completely solid and it wouldn't move on you. So this is called Gorilla Wood Glue. It's good for indoor and outdoor use. It's a type two water resistant glue. So this is really practical to have on hand if you're creating things for the outdoors as well. And so that goes with the woods. I can talk a little bit about the UHU line that I have here. This one here is a glue pen and it's just made for paper. So you would have a twist cap, of course. I don't use this one as much as I probably should. It is, the nice thing is it has a twist on cap so it keeps your glue from drying out. You know how some glues dry out really rather quickly. This one here doesn't, and it has a nice applicator so you just squeeze, and then it has a flat tip so you can just move your glue around. Now, I don't use this one, like I said, I don't use this one en enough, it's not my go-to glue, but I do like that it has the twist on cap, and this one is made for just adhering paper to paper glue, and it's clear. So there's that, this, that. This one here on the other hand is a UHU all-purpose glue. It's non-toxic toxic, and it's acid-free. It's a twist and glue. So there's actually um, three settings to this UHU glue. It's good for bonding wood. It can glue glass. It can glue paper, um, felt, cardboard, it even metal. So this one is really, really um, a really great versatile all-purpose glue. Let me just show you how it works. Oops. So basically you have this setting here where you twist, well actually this setting here where you 
twist it once and you have a flat release and so it will squeeze out clear it dries clear as well and now what you can do is you can use this flat top here to kind of work your glue in wherever you're working if you want you can keep the tip exposed and you can have control over dot dotting your glue you can still wiggle your glue but it's more controlled because it's a, a smaller tip so there's that there you could twist it this way you can run your glue that way you can run it that way so you have the the wider the narrower and then you have the very fine tip so this is a very handy glue to have on your crafting table or your craft supplies because it has so it does so much it works with all different types of material now the cap is really practical on it because it has also a little insert so it keeps your glue from drying out getting hard and all that fun stuff and it just caps on really nicely so again UHU makes really nice cap type glues to keep them from drying out okay I wanted to talk a little bit about tacky glue and the mono Tombow liquid glue these two to for me are absolutely my go-to glues you will see if I create pocket letters and share those with you guys you'll often see me gluing things to the outside of these plastic pages they're page protectors this one here I've been it's been cut but the Allen's tacky glue has it's an all-purpose adhesive as well and you can buy this at the Dollar Tree which is awesome because that's a really good value and see what happens is it dries clear comes out white just like this but it dries clear and you can kind of control where you want but I can glue little wood pieces to for example I've made these here from um, plain wood chips just painted them and then I kind of gave, gave them a triple the triple thick glaze here I'll show you oh where are you triple thick you can use the triple thick this is not a glue but triple thick brilliant brush on it gives you a gloss and so that's what I've done here and it gives you almost looks like plastic and this one here was my I gave it a little bit of a shimmer using the wink of Stella brush I love this thing this little wink of Stella brush it just sorry I'm getting sidetracked here but it has a little brush you just squeeze it and then you can glitter things up really lightly I also used when I was crafting with that one I did use it on this I made this paint actually I can share with you guys hope you don't mind but basically I mix some of the so I mix some of the pretty pearl 3d paint from the Dollar Tree with some acrylic paint so it could be pink um, it could be any color really but I wanted it to have this shimmer and it did um, really work well so it gave me a little bit of a shimmer definitely didn't give me the pearl effect that I was going for um, like these liquid pearls so the liquid pearls actually I could even show you guys here how it works so basically you just apply a little dab sorry that came up really quick so you would just apply a little dab like this and it will stay in that 3d form so if you wanted to create like a little effect with you know little dots and dabs and stuff it would stay in a 3d form the pretty pearls from the Dollar Tree I have tried this one here I was hoping would do the same unfortunately it flattens out it doesn't stay in this 3d form so see how the liquid pearls will actually give you a pearl form this here will begin that way but then um, when you look at it the next day ah that didn't go as planned um, when you look at it the next day it will not stay in this 3d form it will just flatten out and kind of flatten on the page so I was like well you know what it has a beautiful shimmer they have different options and but it didn't 
3D paint, obviously. So I mixed it with acrylic paint to give myself a new color and I thought I'll just do that because I really love the shimmer that it gave. And I didn't like the other colors, they were too bright. There was like a red, a green, a blue, but they weren't my color palette. So I definitely just thought, okay, I'll just try this one here and mix and match. And you can just, I, you don't even need to do a big giant container like this. I was just trying so hard to get it to do a 3D pearl before I went and invested money on these guys. And these are made by Ranger as, as well, and I'll link that down below. So if you want to see, uh, you can grab them. But anyways, going on, um, I also use this Opal Magic, which is the wax. And this is not a glue, but you can buy this at Michael's. Oh dear, I have cream on my hands. And so that's the one thing with these little containers. So basically it comes with this like waxy, shimmery, iridescent feel to it. It has a beautiful like smell but with like a chemical smell I don't know how to describe it but I actually don't mind it at all and so what I did was I applied some on here and so you'll see that iridesc iridescent kind of waxy but it doesn't feel waxy and it doesn't leave any residue and I did that on this one as well and then I did a triple thick layer to give it that plastic feel almost like a seal anyways Back to glues because that's what you are here for. So we were talking a little bit about the tacky glue and I don't know how I got carried away with the other stuff. So, oh, this. So then what you would do is you can apply the little, a little button or this little wood chip, glue it on there and it is not, it won't come loose with the tacky glue. I really like it because it keeps your embellishments nice and fixed to this plastic. This one here is actually my guaranteed favorite. I can speak highly of this one because I've made some pocket letters and have had them sitting here for a while and I know that the glue hasn't come undone. Whereas with the tacky glue, I can't speak for like length time. But this one here, so I use this all the time. It has two ends. I don't ever use this one. As you can see, it's still brand new. It's got like a rubbery type tip and I'm gonna close that one up because I'll work with the pen tip so this is the broad tip that's the pen tip it says here it's permanent or removable so for removable bond you moderately apply the glue allow it to completely dry and then you position the paper and re and remove and reposition as needed so you have to allow it to completely dry for it to be a removable glue in order for it to be a permanent bond, you moderately apply the glue and attach the item while it's wet. So I usually, I, I've never done it as the um, repositional or removable glue. I've always used it as a permanent bond. So um, I can speak of the permanent bond and once I apply something here, it's not coming off. Again, I'll link that in the description below if you guys wanna take a look at that. You can apply, a Michael's coupon to this at a store so if you can save yourself some money I believe they run for about $7.49 here in Canada and then you can apply a 50 or 55% off coupon and you have a nice solid glue that's not going to um, disappoint you I can guarantee that because this guy is terrific talking a little bit about tacky glue so the tacky glue is available at Dollar Tree. However, these guys are not. These are the trial kits. The one at Dollar Tree is a giant container of this stuff here and you can refill the little one if you want to apply it with the small one on your cart. These come in this trial kit. So I think there's five. It comes with three tacky glues and then it comes with a jewel it and a, a wash it. Jewel it is made for uh, fabric embellishing adhesive so if you want to stick things to your fabric that will permanently adhere it this one here is okay to wash it so it's a permanent fabric adhesive I haven't want I haven't used it because I haven't really applied any jewels to my fabric but then you can wash it as well so these here are brand new to me and I haven't even tried them out so I just wanted to mention that they do come in that trial pack Oh, I can actually test this out for you guys. I'm going back and forth here, but you probably want to see how it runs. So if you dab the glue, you can 
use your, I love this tip. Wow, I haven't even used it before. But it's like a rubber silicone, so it's so like smooth and pliable. This, I love this glue. I think you guys hear me say that all the time. And then this tip one here is so easy because you can apply small amounts or you can apply a lot, like you can apply amounts like that. Okay, talking about the multi-bond, uh, sorry, the mono-liquid glue, which is made by Tombow, I also love Zig Memory System. This one here is a two-way glue. It's acid-free. The glue is blue when it's wet, but then turns clear when it's dry. And it has a dual action um, as well. So if you want permanent, it's a wet bond, use immediately after applying adhesive. If you want it to be temporary, so you can reposition things, you use this as um, a dry bond, so you apply lightly and use after the adhesive is dry, just like the mono liquid glue. A release like this, and it usually doesn't come out that way. What's going on today? So you can let it dry or you can use it as a permanent bond. It comes out blue, but then it dries clear and you can see it almost instantly drying. Okay, so there's that there. Um, let's speak a little bit about, okay. You guys, if you see my pocket letters, sometimes I create little glitter type stamp effects. So for example, let's grab my a stamp here. This is from Michaels. And then the Recollections Clear Glue is also from Michaels and you can apply a coupon to this. So don't ever be afraid to ask if you can apply a coupon because these are not everyday value items. This is a glue pad with the refill. So if you need to um, top it up, you can with, with the little refill, which is great. So what I do here, is I would apply some of the stamp glue, clear glue, you can hear that, it's quite sticky. It's sticky but not coming out onto my pad right now, what's going on, onto my stamp. You know you haven't been crafting enough lately when things are not working perfectly. That's the point, right? You're supposed to buy things and use them. So let's work that in. And you guys are probably wondering what the heck I'm doing, but I just want to share how I create this stuff sometimes. So there, I've glued, I've stamped on, you can't see it, but let's use some of my gold glitter here. It's one of my favorite things to do on on my pocket letters. I don't know. I just find it's a unique little take to my pocket letters that I've never really seen anyone else doing this. I'm sure there are many who do, but I've just never seen any of the girls that I watch do this. So then with one of those little brushes that I've sh shared with you guys off my car craft cart. Oh look, see I missed a little corner there. I gotta work my glue pad back in together um, per properly. And so I just want to share, I would tip this over but I have so much stuff around me that I don't want to make a glittery mess. I don't like when I have glitter everywhere. So there you go. So you brush it off and you have a very, very cute stamp made with glitter onto your pocket letter. So that was one of the other glues that I wanted to share. And with that, let's move on to another really neat glue that I have. Well, you guys know this one here is an all-purpose glue stick by Elmer's. I think we all know this one here. This one here is washable school glue stick. You know, if you need to work with some paper, you do. I tend, my favorite go-tos are the roll adhesives, so these glue tapes. And basically you just, um, oh, you uh, run your your tape across whatever it is and then your 
able to glue. Now these guys have been finicky with me lately. I don't know why. I've never had so much. Oh, there we go. So really, you just gotta, you know, go for it. Don't be afraid of them. When you try to be nice, they don't roll out as nicely. Uh oh, I'm gonna go to work with all this glue. Okay, so I mean glitter all over me. This one here is from Dollarama, I believe, and it is a brand named. I'll have to get the original packaging. But this one especially has been giving me a bit of a hard time. I've been just trying to get, aha, we've finally come to the end. That's what the problem was. It had been being so fussy with me lately and I hadn't paid attention and that's exactly what happened was it finished. The roll is done. So that's the other glue that I like using. But uh, this one as well is from the Dollar Ram. But you can buy these at the Dollar Tree or Michaels. I think I'm going to invest in some of the glue tape runners from Tombow but they're so pricey I haven't been able to just bite the bullet on that maybe when I can get a nice coupon on it I will use it the last one of the last few glues I wanted to share you guys know I use brush and bond sometimes for adhering things this is by the Dollar Tree okay sorry so my camera kind of just died on me and I just got to recharge so the last um, item I wanted to talk to you guys about is a little bit about the Elmer's uh, craft bond rubber cement glue and this stuff here is good for um, it I'll read a little bit about it so it's no wrinkle acid free easy to use brush and it's for paper crafting scrapbooking and photo mounting so you easily coat both surfaces and then you press the wet surfaces together. So it rubs off easily once dried, but uh, you're just going to apply, what's gonna happen is you're going to apply a, this stuff goes a really long way. So once you have it, it um, you'll have it for quite some time. Sorry, now my camera fell off my tripod. I'm having such fun today. Sorry. So um, I was going to say, if it is, if you are sensitive to smells, this has quite the strong smell. So it might give you a headache. And again, here I am. I'm going to, my camera just fell right on top of where I was working. Glad it didn't fall into the glue. So what you would do is just, if you want to make like a, sub a little notebook you know how sticky pads always have the removable adhesive at the very top of the page like this so you would put some there and then you can do the same oh there's not enough on my brush of course okay so you would apply some a nice even coat don't have too much it, it will dry and then you can like rub it off and it kind of forms like little rubber balls so you can kind of just gently stroke it like this. And you would apply the two wet pieces to one another and this will create that sticky, sticky page effect. So if you wanted to create like some really pretty mini little sticky adhesive, you know, if you're doing something cute and embellishing um, or you wanna send like a personalized little gift that you've created, you can attach a bunch of pages together, even make a little notebook, um, you know, like this size and all of a sudden now you have these removable sticky um custom little nope sticky notebooks i mean this is a bit time consuming you see how um i had some of that stuff on my hands so it rubs off and kind of gives you like it looks like my hands are dirty but they're not so i'm going to apply another another one you don't have to put glue on both sides of course if you just put glue on one page that will do the trick so let's just create this little sticky notepad and then I will allow it to dry and I will share with you guys how that works. And in the meantime, I wanted to talk a little bit. It's not really a glue, but I know that you guys are curious sometimes what I use on my craft cart and in my crafting. So there's this resist pen by Recollections and then there's the embossed gloss. This here works quite similar to just a Versamark ink pad that you would then, you know, take a stamp, stamp it on, put your flocking powder uh, or emb embossing powder, and then use your heat gun tool to create the effect. This one here just applies differently in the sense that you have control with a, a more, you know, brush tip 
or if you wanted to make your own design a heart or something like that it just works the same way but the resist pen I'm going to show you with my water oops sorry for that noise um, let's work with this one here so let's say I draw a heart with my resist pen now I've created like a section that my these are called what are these guys called watercolor crayons they're made by recollections as well oh and breaking things well that doesn't matter because this was just used to hang up the store I don't know why I even went for that so it dries pretty quick I'm just gonna shake the page here so that it dries faster I hope you guys like these types of videos. Um, if you do, let me know if you're finding them helpful. I know that I, I focus quite a bit on Dollar Tree and stuff, but this is my this is what's fun for me. <laughs> I really enjoy, I mean, I love shopping at Dollar Tree and I love sharing, but I really do love playing around with this kind of stuff too. And it's kind of fun to share what I have in my craft room with you guys. So let's um, just rub the watercolor this is not completely dry and I should have got some so what will happen I should have got some water just to you would wet your paintbrush of course let's pretend that my paintbrush is wet this is a terrible example, but I just, while the other stuff was drying, I thought I'd share with you guys this. So once your paintbrush is wet and you start playing around with the watercolors and creating your water effect, this part here wasn't dry yet, so I didn't want to go over it. Let me see if I can go over it now. So there we go so yeah once you had your water and you would be mixing your colors and all that stuff what would happen is you just resist on the page and have whatever you've designed you can make squigglies you can make triangles you can make a really neat pattern it will just resist the watercolor and then you will have a really pretty design on your page so that's how that works I hope you guys are intrigued by that I won't get into embossing gloss right now because I'd have to get my heating tool and warm get uh, get my embossing powders and stuff like that but um, it works I'll put a link up above so you can see me working with embossing powders and um, I decorated really pretty feathers from the Dollar Tree really long feathers and I dotted them with like gold powder and I made like some little lines on them and they look so pretty as um, a frame decoration in the house so I did that and oh, let's see if my adhesive little notebook has dried. I think it takes a little bit of time, but this, why isn't this closing? I'm missing a color. Should be. There are 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, oh, there's 12. All right, so let's take a look and see if that little notebook has kind of, in the meantime, done its thing. So look at this. So what happens is you can peel it back and you have, oh, my pages are a little, these are a little bit thin. This is just my, kind of my little writing tool on my desk. Maybe there was a little bit too much glue applied at the end there, but now what happens is you can peel these back. See how easy it is? It's supposed to be really easy, so don't apply so much glue because I think I left a little bit too much at the end. But basically, you have now this stuff is transferably sticky onto the next page and so on and so forth. And so you've created your own sticky notes. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but well, I kind of ruined this one here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to show you and then see how it's 
you create your own sticky notes, which is kind of cool. But you can rub off some of that stuff and it kind of turns into a mess. Maybe I didn't let it dry long enough. Maybe I let it, yeah, maybe I didn't let it dry long enough. Maybe it's just not ready completely. I mean, that was only like five minutes. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to share with you guys my main item, which is a glue gun. So this one here is new and I got it from banggood.com and it has a transformer so you just plug it into the wall and see it has a little light that lights up and an on and off switch, which is fantastic. And then along with that, you just have a little stand that it props up on <laughs> sometimes. It's hard to do with one hand and the release is really nice. It's got a nice release and a fine point tip. And then you just insert your glue this way and it's got a nice little stand. So anyways, I had forgotten to share this, of course, my most obvious glue and the most used one. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and the glues that I use. And I had a lot of fun going through these things and sharing them with you. And um, I look forward to sharing other goodies along the way. Until the next video, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.